Ladies and gentlemen, I'm expecting a good clean fight. Listen to my command at all times. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. And then from here, this is all. Good luck to both of you. Touch love. You're in the fuck zone. So here we go at featherweight. Don't take your eye off this, everybody. We've got a real class operator in Michael Desmarinas here to make a big statement for all his Filipino compatriots in the Cayman Islands. And he started very sharply indeed against Jorge Sanchez. No mean opponent in his own right, in the pink here. Fringe world class at his best. Now taking on a really big name. Can he? make a, a statement at this stage in his career that he's not on the slide. <laughs> Trying to pin Desmarinas against that middle rope in the opening minute of this fight. Desmarinas has seen that before, of course, makes a little bit of space for himself. Tough Panamanian is doing his best to make it. Sanchez approached since 2011. Didn't leave Panama actually until 2017. First trip abroad was to Manchester. Lost to a very good fighter in Gavin McDonnell. Over 12 hard rounds. A turning point it may have been in his career. More losses slightly than wins since then but ever competitive. And still challenging for titles of various kinds. He's always prepared to let go in the early stages of a fight, I'm told. Actually came a cropper doing that against Tito Sanchez. Down in the first round. Last outing back in Panama went the full eight rounds, but here at featherweight against a very classy operator in Desmarinas. At least we can say early on that Sanchez is giving Desmarinas the kind of fight he was expecting tonight. Mm -hmm. Hard, pacey, close quarters affair. Certainly turning on the pressure. Not giving any room to Mike for it Michael is. to breathe. Russell, it's one way to deal with the South Boys, and you just walk straight through it and take what comes to get your own shots off. Not saying it's going to work in the long run, but it makes it action packed. And this most certainly has been. Rule one tried to win the first round, and Sanchez has put a lot of good work in there. Desmarinas Sugar, Coach Sugar they call him. Big figure in Filipino boxing, although now based in Los Angeles. He's been working at the world famous wild card gym. Desmarinas, the more organized of the two, I would say that. Sanchez trying to create a bit of chaos early on tonight. One or two little signs early in the second round that Desmarinas, who composed himself, if you remember, when he went back to his corner, has now totally tuned in to the fight zone itself. Live here on fight zone. And he's starting to make the class show. Roared on by this raucous Filipino support here tonight. This is like being in Manila. And a big title fight. Desmarinas gets to work. I felt it had to happen. Suddenly he starts to back Sanchez up. Sanchez might pay for all the early energy expended here. There was menace in a lot of those punches thrown by Desmarinas, and they're quite chilling. They're hurtful punches, very well executed, and suddenly there's not a lot coming back. Desmarinas 
shifting the plot line immediately in this second round in very impressive fashion. As if to say, well done Sonny, but don't mess with me. This is a home away from home for me. And he, I've seen the nod of the head there by Sanchez. Great shot. There's a bit of blood around as well. Yeah. A result of all those punches and credit to him for taking all of them, but they aren't doing him any favors. They're not doing him any favors. You're quite right to, to say that, Russell. Calm and efficient, but suddenly cutting in every sense. Desmarinas. Double left hook, if you please. Yes, Sanchez is an easy target, but the thrilling accuracy of some of this work in the second round is taking one's breath away here. Carter absolutely loving this. As tough as he is, a question forms already. Can Sanchez possibly hope to go eight rounds like this? I highly, highly doubt it. They're pretty tough from Panama though, Russell. <laughs> a lot of the Hispanic countries seem to present that entire rest of his career. More lateral movement. That's good by Sanchez, but Desmarinas had read it. It was a sneaky uppercut on the inside. This has been terrific so far, living up to all one's hopes for it. That's great, downstairs and up. Everyone is a telling shot. But doggedly, Sanchez walks forward <laughs> it is into harm's way. He's showing incredible heart, incredible toughness. But it'll only take him so far. Conscious effort made by Sanchez to get closer. And he's using all the tools at his disposal to do that in this round. Perhaps he's hoping that Michael will tire himself out by throwing such heavy shots, but it doesn't seem to be the case. If it is a plan, Russell, I've heard of better plans against a guy of this quality, but you, you may well be right. At least he's trying different things. And he has made Desmarinas work a bit harder in this round after that superb response in round two from Desmarinas. More coming back from Sanchez, rising to the occasion here tonight. Not so many of those are actually scoring punches. It was a flashy combination, wasn't it, from Desmarinas? But certainly, Sanchez has enjoyed a bit more success in this round. I couldn't agree with you more. But he... It's a good-looking shot again, but there was no problem with it. Sanchez took it well, leaning back as he was. Feet are planted, digging in, in every sense, right from his shoe straps upward. bit more tentative they felt that that was one of the problems when they first took him under their wing they, they've tried to make him a more assertive puncher now after the reminder look how he starts this round but can he keep it going because he didn't keep it going in round three reverting to more outside work everything comes off the good accurate boxing 
with a little bit of pep in the punches. Not every shot has to be a devastating one, but that was a beauty underneath. And again. The, he the problem here is, Russell, Sanchez has walked through both of them without a problem. I mean, he's like the Terminator and there, he's moving forward through everything and it doesn't seem to have any effect. Make no mistake, everybody. This is a very high quality eight rounder at featherweight this. It was quick and it was powerful and it did sweep Sanchez sideways, but it wasn't enough to knock him over. Tried it again there to Desmarinas. Beautiful downstairs and upstairs. He does do that particularly well. Little right lead to the body. Left hook's already on the way. And his feet are very well under him. Sanchez, that is. As he gets a flush hook. Sanchez has done well again in this round to keep in touch with him in terms of the uh, overall shape of this round. Having taken some really big shots all the way through it, he's still landing plenty of scoring punches himself. The eye-catching work may have come from Desmarinas, but let's not overlook the work that Sanchez is doing. The problem with... Sanchez really is, he looks off balance a lot of the time and yet he still retains his balance. 100%. I don't know how he does that. It's quite a marvellous showing by him. His toughness is on a next level. Another terrific one which is living up to all our expectations of it tonight. Two high quality operators. Still with plenty to offer, we've established that already, and that goes for Sanchez, the so-called underdog, in the pink at the age of 33, as much as for the hot and spicy 31-year-old from the Philippines, Michael Desmarinas, fighting in front of so many of his own people here tonight, here in the Cayman Islands. And it's very telling indeed that, from the crowd perspective, all these Filipinos, they know boxing, they're much more engaged in the contest and it's all gone a little bit more studied if i could put it like that from the filipino crowd here they know that this is actually a contest they were hooping and hollering after a round and a half when desmarinas turned up the wick and they thought it might go over quite quickly but it hasn't worked out like that and this filipino boxing crowd they know that sanchez is still very much in it very proud people the philippine people they get behind anyone who is representing them for sure that includes desmarinas a reminder from the corner to desmarinas to keep his hands up time and time again he's let that right go underneath and Sanchez has taken every single one of them and come right back. Sanchez tried to give him a bit of space to throw one back, actually. Sanchez for once goes back onto the ropes. Desmarinas might be tempted to go for it here a little bit. Sanchez is in a bit of trouble for me. 
and he did just the right thing in getting out of that corner. Good work from Sanchez again. Desmarinis is throwing the eye-catching shots, but Sanchez is refusing to allow Desmarinas to think he's made a big breakthrough. Talk about hands of stone, Roberto Duran from Panama. This kid has got a heart of absolute granite. It just will not break off. <laughs> and the way he recovers from these big shots so fast. Oh, at all. Desmarinas has been through the playbook and looked mighty impressive doing it. There's nothing in that. Sanchez has weathered several storms, if not of hurricane level, certainly blowing very hard here in the Cayman Islands for a few rounds. And in there he's blowing hard, but he still keeps digging in and making headway, literally so at times. Yeah, he has an answer for everything. I, like you said, he, he's been hit with the hurricane category five at least, and the kitchen sink, and he is just marching forward like nothing is affecting him. Every shot from Desmarinis is a good one underneath. But every shot has been taken so well so far by Sanchez. And he still walks forward. <laughs> it is a shame that Donovan Bauscher has to stop the action for a minute, but he does have to do so. The tape is flapping loose on that glove. This is unbelievable. This is incredible uh, boxing to watch. The tape is still loose after all that, to be honest with you, but nobody wants to see it stopped again. And a cut over the right eye of Desmarinas. The blood is flown away from the eye at the moment, but he's a bit concerned about it. And no doubt, Sanchez smells the blood and probably will go on the attack. We go. Neither has really got into his flow in this round because of the two halts in the action. And Sanchez immediately starts to put the head in where that cut is. And try to put a bit of panic into the mind of Desmarinas. As experienced as he is, he shouldn't be panicked, but you never know. It's worth a try if you're Sanchez. And more of a premium than ever in this really good fight tonight for Desmarinas to keep on boxing. In right hand, and again, and yet again, Sanchez is just walking through. Him. And the next man in the rubble that time, Hernan Desmarinas is coming on strong, and for once, Sanchez doesn't look so strong. And he's static on the rope. Donovan Bouch is taking a closer look. It's a brilliant stopping from 